there in the world of YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, website, wherever you may find this video. Hope it finds you in uh, good graces. You're having a great day. Um, once again, this is Prince Dice here, the Royal Financial Investment Group. Coming at you guys with another video, another tutorial. Now, I'm not going to make these videos too long as I usually do. Just going to get straight to the point, straight to the topic. So, this video here is going to be, hey, how can I invest against the U.S. dollar, right? Say, hey, I think the dollar is going to do bad, or I think the dollar is going to do great, but how can I bet against the U.S. currency? First and foremost, you have the foreign exchange market. The foreign exchange market is when, you know, you have the U.S. dollar versus the euro, euro versus U.S. dollar. All these different currencies are exchanged and people make money on these things daily. Where they bet against the dollar, they bet with the euro, they bet against the yen and against the pound, all the other good stuff, right? But, you know, that's a forex video. This is not a forex video. This is just simple of, hey, you know, I don't want to have a forex account. I'm not a forex person. Forex is just a short word for foreign exchange. I'm not a forex person. I don't have a forex account. I don't want to get into forex and deal with pips and all the good stuff. So I just think that, hey, the dollar is headed for a, a drastic decline or drastic incline, and I want to invest that way. How can I invest that way? And I have to worry about it daily. So here's a quick video that's probably going to help you out. Once again, if this is your first video you were watching, there's plenty of other videos here on my YouTube channel, the Royal Financial Investment Group. You know, as always, I say, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down at the end of the video. Let me know how I'm doing. But hey, let's get straight to the point. So here on E-Trade, I have pulled up uh, UDN. UDN is uh, this symbol. So up here, if you have an E-Trade account, just follow me. We want to type in US dollar. Before you even get the word dollar out, you just type in USDOL. And boom, you see here, this is the symbol. The symbol is UDN. It says US dollar index bearish fund. Right below that, US dollar index bullish fund. Then you go right below that, you have UNDT, which is the US dollar index ETN. The US dollar index futures in the uh, futures. Uh, yeah. right so these are different ways you can invest into the dollar so as we all know bearish means what if something is if I'm bearish on the market I am what that means that I think it's going to decline right so bearish means going down bullish means going up so if this is a US dollar bearish fund that means that this fund is going to capitalize off of the decline of the dollar so this fund here is going to say, hey, as the dollar goes down, this is going to gain value. So I'm going to click on the UDN first. That's that's the symbol for it, UDN. So boom, you know, as my computer booted up, boom, there we go, right? So this is a, and then you can let's go down here, let's look at the strategy. Let's read this strategy. There's a little bit of it. The invest, this investment seeks to track the price and yield performance before fees and expenses of the Dutchess Juices Bank, ah, getting a little tongue twisted there, Bank Short US Dollar Futures Index, right? But that is essentially saying that this is an index that is made to short. Short means to bet against. This is going to short against the dollar futures index fund. You know, now I spoke about forward exchange. Now let's get into futures just for a tab bid. Futures is like it's derivatives and derivatives are like when people trade off thin money right it's just people betting against each other they do it with wheat they do it with oil they do it with uh, tons of things it's a commodities market right and they bet off, they you know they you know they bet against or they bet with each other on how things are going to go in the futures market right so you're like hey i don't want to get into the futures market hey i don't want to get into the forex market but what this etf does is that it is going to track the performance of the dollar on the futures market so pretty much this is betting against the dollar so let's go here and we can go to chart you can read the whole strategy how you want to but let's go look at the chart and we're going to go back to max this is the time frame right you can use 10 years let's, let's go let's go three years for three years right so over these three years from 2013 to 2014 boom right by here you see this fund here 
is declining in value because the dollar is actually bullish. So as the dollar does better, this fund is going to lose value. But as, this, as if the dollar declines, this fund is going to do better. So as you can see here, you're like, whoa, look at this drop off you have here. Let's go look at a little bit more. Let's go back into a year. You can see this drop off started to happen around about mid July. A little drop off of this fund. That means the dollar must have become bullish, right? So this is fun you can bet in against against the dollar. Now let's go the opposite way. You say, hey, I am bullish on the dollar. Bullish means you think it's going to go up. So let's go back to US DOL. And then you say bullish. UUP is the stock symbol. So now you're saying bullish. Let's look at this chart. Whoa, look at it. It's the same year chart you can see in August. This one went up, right? You're like, wow, that one went up. Bullish because it's this because hey, the dollar has gained value over time. You know, not over time, but over this period, this fund is going up. So you can see how you say, hey, I don't have to be in the future smart, all the good stuff. I can buy this ETF, and this ETF would do it for me. As the dollar gets stronger, this ETF is going to do better. This so you see, this is bullish. This is a bullish fund. So as the dollar does good, this fund is going to gain value. But if the dollar does bad, this fund is going to do what? You got it, lose value. So we're going to go back to the uh, options chart of this ETF. Now this is another way. I'm just I'm not going to spend too much time on it. It's an option trading thing. But we're going to look at this way exactly again, where you can see uh, the market's closed right now, so you're not going to get live stuff. But we're going to go back now. You can see, okay, on this bearish fund, you can say, hey, I, I, I want to bet against it. I think this bearish fund is going to, let's say you don't even want to bet against it because, you know, you can get the bullish fund. But let's say, hey, okay, I want to bet against it. I think the dollar's about to fall off. I don't want to buy ETF. I just want to make my money quick and pull it out, all of this stuff, right? So here, all you want to say, hey, this is another good way. You can say, hey, I wonder on this bullish fund, I wonder how many people are investing with the dollar and how many people are investing against the dollar. Boom. So up here, this is the January 17, January 16, 2015 uh, expiration date. You can go ahead, let's say, let's go ahead and go down to February 13th. Let's see how people are betting against it, right? A little minor activity. You have a few people that are betting against the dollar because they're buying put contracts. You got a little activity over here with the buying the puts contract. But then you have a little bit of money over here. Not a little bit of money, but you have a little open interest here over the buying call contracts. Let's see what we got a little bit more activity on the 6th. On the six. Uh, slightly, not much more. Kind of even in that. Let's go to January 30th. Oh, January 30th, you got a lot of activity, right? So over here, you can see you have a, a good bit of activity. Well, not volume, but you see open interests are out there. Contracts are trying to be sold. But a good bit of people here are kind of buying against this bullish ETF. So you can go through things like this. You can look at the volume. The volume is going to tell you how much something is going back and forth, right? You know, how many times it's being brought and sold, brought and touched, and stuff like that. And the open interest is like, hey, this is how many people out there who's willing to sell contracts like I did a video my last video I just put up yesterday was over selling covered calls right and this is what these open interests are but then you can come over here and see how many people are actually you know buying and how much activity is going on not a whole lot of activity but ETFs usually don't have a lot of activity on the uh, uh, options chart in some cases I mean compared to other stops you know a lot of ETFs don't and Pretty much you're looking at this, you can see how many people are interested. It's another way. You can buy puts against this bearish fund. When you buy a put, that's better than against it. Or when you buy a put against something, that means you're shorting it, right? And you can do the exact opposite thing of what we just spoke about. On the other, uh, uh, instead of being, you can, you can go back to what it was. You, let's go back to US dollar. I can use some, you can go to UDN and you can short it, opposite way. And then you have this, let's say like I just told you guys about the futures market. This ETN itself, this index itself is going to track the. Uh, this index itself is going to track the. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's going to track the performance. It is my son is walking in there. But uh, it's going to track the strategy. This is going to track the strategy of uh, what you call it. Okay, give me a second, son. All right, we're going to play just get it from this video. 
But if this one is going to track the, uh, this one's going to track the performance on the futures market. So if you're not big into futures, you can buy this, and it's simple and easy. If you want to buy it, boom, you hit the buy button. You hit the buy button, then you just go in here and you just fill out the information like I told you guys all before. But I'm not going to waste too much time. As always, I had fun. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, leave me feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. Once again, thank you for watching Royal Financial Investment Group. Until the next time, be safe.